Horace, Book Two, Ode Ten, The Golden Mean. Quite rightly you will live, Licinius, neither by always urging your boat out into the deep, nor, cautious, by being afraid of the storms and pressing too close to the uneven shore. Rectius we ways, Licini, nequaltum semper urgendo nequetum procellas cautus horrescis nimium premendo litus iniquum. Whoever loves the golden mean will be safe from the shames of a tattered down house, but equally, being sober, will lack a too enviable palace. Au ream quis quis mediocritatem diligit tutus caret obsoleti sordibus tecti caret invidenda sobrius aula. All too often a large pine is shaken by the winds, and the high towers fall to the ground with a greater crash, and the lightnings beat the, high, the highest parts of the mountains. Sae pius ventis agitator ingens pinus et celsae graviore casu decundent tures. Fer feriunt que sumos fulgurads montis. <laughs> Sorry. It hopes in troubled times. It fears in too conducive and easy times. The chest well prepared for the opposite outcome. The drab winter Jupiter brings back. The same he removes. Per at infestis metuit secundis alteram sortem bene preparatum pectus informes hiemes reducit Jupiter idem. The same he takes away. Not, even if badly now, also thus will it always be. Sometimes a guitar enlivens a quiet muse. Or, at other times, Apollo does not always play his lyre. Summoet non si male nunc et olim sic erit quandam citaram tecentem suscitat musam neque sum semper arcum tendit Apollo. In troubled things, put on an animated and brave appearance. Wisely, however, in the same way, you will furl in and contract your billowing sails in a breeze too, too easy. Rebus angustis anamosus atque fortis appare sapienter idem contra heis vento nimium secundo turgida vuela. 